Hey, Brainout. How far have you gotten in learning Linux? Not far. Bought Debian plus Zorin, and will buy five more versions. Have instead spent the time learning about the horror of Windows 8. Yeah, installation failed four times. Why, I don't know. Spent hours talking to Microsoft tech support. They couldn't help. By accident, installation worked on the fifth time. You too? 80% of the user reviews in Amazon, New Egg and Tiger Direct, all report installation disasters. What problems did you have? Lost my programs, files, DVD drive failed, email didn't work, what a mess. So I couldn't reinstall my clone drive. Finally used Clonezilla, which was $7 at Amazon. Yeah, Clonezilla saved me when my Windows 7 machine crashed the first week I tried to use it. So what will you do with your Windows 8 upgrade? Well, unfortunately I downloaded it, so I can't get my money back. So I put it on a machine I didn't need. And it still doesn't work well. What's wrong? Oh, many things. Internet Explorer 10 is a mess in Metro, not like desktop. Everything full screen. Lots of jumping back and forth between it and desktop, can't cut and paste well. You sound depressed. Oh, I am. I was fooled by the price. It was cheap so I expected it to be good. But anything cheap, is cheap because it is not good. Everyone complains about no start menu. Did that bother you as well? No, I never used the start menu. But everything is moved around and you must guess all the time. Even after you get used to the new hidden ways of doing things, it's a muddle. How so? First, everything takes three times longer, as Windows 8 is built for touch tablets, not for keyboard and mouse. So everything is slower. Plus, you must aim your mouse just right. What I mean is, the corners are hot, reserved for special functions. So you have to aim just right, to use those functions. Or, use shortcut keys or right click. Shortcut keys? Yeah, that's the worst part. You now must memorize 50 or more shortcuts with the keyboard, to do what you used to be able to do, with mouse clicks. W-H-Y? To get back functionality, you now must type in commands, too. What everyone dislikes about Linux, you must also do now in Windows, long commands and registry edits. So it's not only a horror to install but a horror to use? And here I thought it was merely ugly. Very ugly. Like YouTube and Google and PC World ugly. Flat ugly colors you can change but not to anything attractive. To big, like a prison. And slower. But everyone raves about the boo times. Sure, any new Windows installation is faster in boot times, but after you add or change apps, after Windows updates, it slows down a lot. Worse, Windows 8 has a lot of ads. Ads? Yes, in the live tiles for news and the constant advertising of Windows own store. Even when you do basic maintenance stuff sometimes an ad appears, like for Pantene shampoo, but you can remove that stuff, right? Well, not the Pantene advertisement. But yeah, you can remove the rest. And it takes days to figure out and change. I'm really sorry I got Windows 8. Well, I'm glad you only lost $15. No, I lost more like $1,500 in lost time spent wrangling with it. Ah, yes. The true cost of a thing is the hassle in using it, never the purchase price.